If you search on the internet about the deepest parts of the ocean, you would always come across the Mariana Trench. Located in the Western Pacific Ocean and reaching a maximum depth of approximately 36,201 feet, Mariana Trench is one of the deepest oceanic trenches in the world. The trench has great significance as it could provide scientists with valuable insights into the Earth's geology, plate tectonics and marine biology. To have a better understanding of how deep the Mariana Trench is, let's compare it with some of the tallest buildings in the world. The Eiffel Tower stands at 1,083 feet, followed by the Empire State Building, which is 1,250 feet. The Shanghai Tower comes in at a staggering 2,073 feet, and then there's the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, which stands at a whopping 2,720 feet. If you go even deeper in the ocean, at 12,500 feet, you'll find the wreck of the infamous Titanic. And at 36,201 feet, you'll find Mariana Trench, which is deeper than 13 Burj Khalifas stacked together. If you go to such depths in the ocean, you'd have to face extreme pressure and darkness, which makes Mariana Trench one of the least discovered parts of the ocean. These extreme pressures and low visibility areas are home to some of the most unique organisms and creatures, which can sometimes be really scary. One such creature is the Megalodon, a prehistoric giant shark that unleashed its wrath in ancient oceans. It existed in the Mariana Trench and struck fear with its enormous size and power. However, that's not the case today, as they became extinct 3.6 million years ago. In today's episode of MoTeC, we'll be having a look at some of the creatures found inside the Mariana Trench that are scarier than the Megalodon. On the 23rd of January 1960, in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, two daring individuals embarked on a journey to explore the hidden mysteries of the Mariana Trench. Meet US Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh and his partner, Swiss engineer Jacques Picard. Accompanied by each other and their passion to uncover the Earth's deepest secret, they set their sights on a place shrouded in mystery and darkness. Number 10. Leviathan Counting down from number 10, we have the Leviathan. From its name itself, the Leviathan seems to be a creature from an ancient time on Earth or from mythology. However, many people actually believe that Leviathan exists and is a monstrous sea serpent that lives at unfathomable depths of over 36,000 feet, which is even below the Mariana Trench. Several researchers have predicted its existence and believe that the creature has incredible size and power and is capable of crushing even the most massive modern creatures. The conditions at the Mariana Trench are perfect for a Leviathan to exist, as the extreme pressure of 15,700 psi and pitch black darkness are ideal for it to strike. In the abyss, there have been significant hints about its existence and several deep-sea expeditions have also revealed some colossal and unidentifiable shapes on sonar readings, which has sparked curiosity among researchers, leading to believe that the Leviathan actually exists. In several books of the Hebrew Bible, including Psalms, the Book of Isaiah, the Book of Amos and the Book of Enoch, Leviathan has been mentioned several times. According to these books, Leviathan is a creature that lived in the sea and was indeed a force to be reckoned with. Its massive size, double-plated armor, sharp teeth, and a seeming ability to spit fire from its mouth make it one of the scariest creatures. Number 9. The Big Fin Squid Moving on to number 9, we have the Big Fin Squid, also known as Magna Pinna. Founded mostly in deep waters like the Mariana Trench, the Big Fin Squid is a group of rarely seen cephalopods belonging to the Magna Pinidae family. The name was derived from the Corsican words Magna and Pinna, which directly translate to Big Fin. You can mostly find them in depths of up to 20,000 feet, and at a quick glance, you can distinguish them from other deep sea creatures due to their elongated arms and big eyes. Their eyes and other sensory organs allow them to effortlessly hunt in the pitch black conditions of the Mariana Trench. This, accompanied by their incredible size of up to 13 to 26 feet, make them formidable deep sea predators. The big fin squid's behavior is pretty elusive and no one is able to fully study them. They're believed to be solitary creatures that mostly stay in deep waters but venture to upper waters to hunt on fish and other cephalopods. 
Since they mostly live in deep waters, they're rarely sighted, and their existence is supported by deep-sea exploration missions and occasional specimens found washed ashore. Hmm, lucky for us. Number 8. The Pliosaurus The name Pliosaurus sounds like a creature that existed with the dinosaurs. Well, that's true and false at the same time. I know that sounds confusing, but let me explain. Pliosaurus are marine reptiles that existed during the Mesozoic era, an era when non-bird dinosaurs existed and the others had gone extinct. Just like most creatures of the Mesozoic era, the Pliosaurus was a powerful predator that had a massive body, weighing up to 100,000 pounds and over 16 to 85 feet long. Its four massive flippers allowed it to swim quickly and prey on fish, small dinosaurs, ichthyosaurs, and other marine reptiles. Upon reaching closer to its prey, it opens its mouth and munches on it with its extremely sharp teeth. The existence of Pliosaurus is proven from the discovery of fossils and its remains that were discovered from various parts of the world. Experts have managed to study these features and come up with information that tells us about its behavior and evolution. Number seven the Dumbo Octopus. You remember Dumbo from the Disney movie? This is him, but in the body of an octopus. Well, I'm clearly joking, and it's not the case. However, the name Dumbo Octopus is surely inspired from the character due to the unusual placement of its fins, which resemble Dumbo's ears. Apart from its name, Dumbo and the Dumbo Octopus have nothing in common, as one is a cartoon and the other is a deep-sea creature that lives at extreme depths, ranging from 9,800 to 23,000 feet. It has a small body covered with a gelatinous mantle, which gives it a ghost-like appearance. Hmm, quite like a mixture of Casper and Dumbo. Well, never mind. Since they survive in such inhabitable conditions, the Dumbo octopus haven't been sighted often. However, researchers have found several specimens on the shore and used remotely operated vehicles with cameras to capture the creature in its natural habitat. Walsh and Picardi embarked on their extraordinary journey in an ingenious submersible vessel named Trieste. They said goodbye to their loved ones and embarked on this exciting yet scary journey to the deep waters. As Trieste descended deeper and deeper, the pressure on their vessel increased but their spirits soared high as they were going a step closer to their goal. Number six, barrel eye fish. If you believe the Dumbo octopus was unique, then your opinion might change after looking at the barrel eye fish. This creature is probably one of the most spookiest deep sea creatures found in the Mariana Trench. They're found at at least 8,000 feet deep in the sea, where they survive and hunt using their distinct features. Unlike any other fish, the barrel eye fish has a transparent dome-shaped head that exposes its brain, eyes, and some other features. Inside its transparent skin are its large lens eyes, which rotate in usual patterns to detect potential prey in difficult and pitch black conditions. After detecting its prey, which is mostly tiny fish or gelatinous organisms, it waits for it to come within reach before rapidly opening its mouth to capture the food in a swift motion. In the year 1939, marine biologist Chapman discovered the barrel eye fish. However, during the time, he couldn't study its transparent head because it was mostly damaged due to its fragile nature. Later on in 2004, with the help of deep sea explorations, marine biologists were able to discover this distinct feature of the deep sea fish. Number five, sea devil anglerfish. As scary as the name sea devil anglerfish is, this deep sea creature is even scarier in real life. However, you don't need to worry about it as this scary creature lives in oceans at depths of at least 10,000 feet. They're mostly found in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Ocean near the Mariana Trench. Due to the challenging deep water environment, their body has masterfully adapted to the dark and cold abyss. The sea devil anglerfish are inky black in color, which allows them to seamlessly blend in the dark waters. They possess a glowing appendage atop its head called esca, which it uses to attract unsuspecting prey. As the prey approaches, it opens up its enormous mouth and engulfs the prey with its sharp teeth. They can munch on a lot of different sea creatures and some even bigger than them due to their distinctive structure. 
The strange aspect of anglerfish is that the females are significantly larger in size than the male fishes. Researchers believe that this is due to their unique mating habits, which make them grow to seven or eight inches long. Experts have managed to study them with the help of deep-sea exploration devices and the collected specimens. It was first discovered in 1833, when a specimen of a creepy-looking fish was discovered on the shores of Greenland. Due to its baleful appearance and pitch-black skin, it was given the name the Sea Devil Anglerfish. Number 4. The Goblin Shark Moving on to number four, we have the goblin shark. It's also known as Mitsukurina ostoni and is the only extant representative of the Mitsukurinidae family, a lineage of sharks some 125 million years old. It lives at extreme depths ranging from 890 to 4,265 feet in the ocean, like the Mariana Trench, closer to the twilight zone which is a dimly lit region between the sunlit surface and the pitch black abyss. The goblin shark is mostly covered in pink skin and has a distinctive profile with an elongated flat snout and highly protrusable jaws, containing prominent nail-like teeth. This jaw structure allows it to quickly extend its mouth and capture unsuspecting prey such as fish and cephalopods. It's usually between 10 and 13 feet long when mature though many scientists believe that it's capable of growing up to 20 feet. The goblin shark is a patient and stealthy hunter. When it's prepared to hunt, it uses its highly sensitive ampullae of Lorenzini to detect electrical signals produced by its prey. This allows the shark to strike its prey with precision, even in pitch black conditions. Goblin shark was first studied in the late 1800s when an immature male goblin shark was caught in Sagami Bay near Yokohama, Japan. The specimen had been acquired by shipmaster and naturalist Owen Oston, who had given it to Professor Kikichi Mitsukuri at the University of Tokyo. American ichthyologist David Starr Jordan studied the shark and named it Mitsukurina Ostoni in honor of these two men. After several hours of descent, Walsh and Picardi reached Challenger Deep, the deepest point of Mariana Trench. At that point, the two were excited as they had successfully completed their journey and had become the first humans to reach the ocean floor at this incredible depth. After celebrating this milestone, the two began their quest of the Mariana Trench and started studying and documenting the area. We're now moving towards the top three. If you're enjoying this video so far, then it would be a great time to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Number three, Zombie Worm. Starting off the top three, we have the zombie worm, also known as Ostax. Zombie worms are a bunch of different worm species that exist in deep sea areas such as the Mariana Trench. They're a vital part of the marine ecosystem and live at extreme depths, ranging from 6,500 to 10,000 feet. Just like other creatures on this list, they thrive in an environment with little to no sunlight and nutrient scarcity. The name zombie worm was given to these creatures as they're a type of bone-eating worm that forms unique symbiotic relationships with certain species of dead marine animals, such as whale carcasses, that fall to the ocean floor. They were first discovered in 2002 while living on the bones of a rotting grey whale on the deep sea floor, nearly 10,000 feet deep. The worms were digesting the fats within the bone of the whale by secreting an acid from their skin that dissolves bone, freeing up the fat and protein trapped inside. Unlike other creatures on this list, zombie worms don't move around much in the water and have unique root-like structures that allow them to burrow into the bones of dead animals. Once inside, it secretes enzymes that break down the bone, allowing the worm to feed on the nutrient-rich marrow within. Number two, deep sea hatchetfish. At number two, we have the deep sea hatchetfish, which are creatures mostly found in deep sea waters, such as the Pacific and Indian Ocean. This creepy-looking creature lives at extreme depths, ranging from approximately 1,640 to 13,120 feet. When fully grown, the fish can go from 2.8 centimeters to 12 centimeters in length. Its unique body structure is fully adapted to the conditions of deep waters and helps it attacking or even escaping from its predators. 
It has an evolved peculiar body with bioluminescent photophores. When a predator approaches, these bioluminescent photophores allow it to camouflage by matching the light intensity with the light penetrating from the water above. What happens now is if a predator looks up to the water, it won't see the hatchet fish. Instead, it'd just see water over it. It often migrates up to shallow depths at night to strike its prey and moves down during the day to avoid becoming the meal of a predator. Number 1. Fangtooth At number one, we have the Fangtooth. This bizarre-looking creature is one of the scariest creatures to ever exist this deep in the ocean. It's also known as Anaplogastridae, which is Latin for unnamed stomach. Fangtooth thrive at extreme depths ranging from 16,400 to 16,700 feet, making them one of the deepest living fish in the world. The name Fangtooth was given to this fish because it possesses large, needle-like teeth. Its fangs are so big that they can't even fully close, giving it a menacing appearance despite its size. Fangtooth is an ambush predator, which means that its behavior revolves around its survival in the harsh environment of the Mariana Trench. It patiently waits for its prey to come closer to it, and when the time's right, it opens up its mouth to strike and munch on small fish and crustaceans that venture near. After completing their research, the two began their journey to the shore. After several challenges, the two managed to successfully reach the shore and put forward their findings in front of the public. Their expedition provided valuable insights into Earth's geology and inspired further deep-sea explorations. That's all for the 10 Mariana Trench creatures that are scarier than Megalodon. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, then consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Till then, have a nice day, and we'll see you next time with another spine-chilling video.